Now, when we, get, when we start doing this, you're going to think, yeah, we're wasting quite a bit of potato. But we're going to save those, those pieces. We can use them for other things like mashed potatoes, things like that. Okay, also for your um, homework, okay. okay, this is going to be our book we're going to use for CF1, so we're going to bring this in every other day, and then we're going to bring in our Neha book, and we're going to bring this in every other day, okay, I, like I said, I'll get a calendar for you guys, so you can kind of keep track of what's going on, but remember that every other day. Um, also homework, okay, knife skills, work on your knife skills, we're going to give you guys potatoes to bring home, and uh, read chapter, uh, read page 70 to 73, Page 116 to 125 in the book. Yes. Excuse me, Chef. Yeah. Yesterday yeah. was at the end of one in Neha and the end of two. Is that what that bottom part meant? Because you said yeah, one questions and two. at the yeah. And then the uh, one through four in your um, in your small book. Yeah. Welcome to culinary school. Okay. How you guys doing on your reading? Keeping up? Mm -hmm. No procrastinating. Yeah. Okay. okay. So what are we gonna do with this? Compost. Okay. This is compost. Okay. So we're going to compost this. Okay. Can I get a bowl from back there, please? We're going to compost this. Whenever we can compost, we, we try to. Okay. It just saves, saves on garbage bills. And um, Yeah, when I owned a restaurant, my garbage bill was like $300 a month. Garbage. Okay. So we're going to compost this. Okay, so what's the first thing we're going to do? We're going to block, block this off. Okay? So when we talk about blocking off, okay, why do we block it off? One of the reasons is if we have something round, we don't want it to move. So we want it to be flat. If we can make something round flat, it's going to be a lot easier to work with. And it's less chance of us cutting ourselves because it's more flat. So we're just going to block it off. Okay, now what are we looking for? Our slices, how wide? Okay, uh, one quarter inch. Quarter inch, okay? So we're gonna do quarter inch slices. So we peel it, we block it off. Now we quarter inch slices. Okay, now let's talk about working with a knife. Okay, there's some pictures in the book that are pretty good. Okay, when you work with a knife, okay, thumb, thumb and first finger here. Okay, and you, you the knives that you have, Okay, in your kit, okay, you may you may have knives at home that you like better. You're welcome to bring in. Okay, you know sometimes you just have to use a knife that feels good to you. You know, some people look at my knife and they, they always look at it and they say, "When are you going to get a grown-up's knife?" Okay, I like it. It feels good in my hand. <laughs> I've had this knife for about 30 years. I had it engraved when I was in culinary school a couple days ago. So. Um, we always want to make sure you have a knife that feels comfortable for you. Um, some knife, some knife. Uh, this is nice because this is a non non slip. Sometimes you can get knives that have like wooden handles and they're really slippery, especially when your hands are wet or, or greasy. So these are really nice knives. But like I said, you know, if you go to a knife shop anymore, what do they have? And they have cutting boards and they have vegetables so you can practice with. So always get one that feels good to you. Okay, so I'm going to hold it like this. We're going to do what's called the claw. Okay, the whole idea of the claw is to keep from cutting yourself. So, you want to make sure that these are, these guys are all pushed back, okay? We don't want anything like this because at the end of the day, we want to make sure we have five on each hand, okay? And they're ready to go and they're good for tomorrow, okay? Um, you know, people say, oh, you're, you're a chef. You must cut yourself once in a while, burn yourself. Yeah, it's going to happen. You know, it's going to happen whenever you play with sharp things are going to get cut once in a while, but you want to minimize them because the more you cut, the more you burn, sometimes you can't work if you do it bad enough. Okay, so we're going to hold our knives like this, okay, just like this, okay, we're going to do the claw because we want to keep our fingers, okay, when we cut down, we're bringing the knife up, you guys want to come over here where you can see better, would that be helpful, okay, bring your knife up, okay, you want to just bring it up. 
you want to just bring it up to the point of the knuckle. That's the whole idea of the claw. You're keeping these guys out of here. You're using this thumb just to kind of steady the potato. Okay, then we're going to go down. We're going to do, okay, approximately a quarter inch. Okay, approximately quarter inch slices straight down. Okay, and we're going to put this off to the side because it'd be a little bit hard to work with. See how it's getting a little bit out of shape there. Okay, so next thing we're going to do, how, how long is the batonet? Two inches. Two inches long. So how long is this guy here? Okay, okay, it's about four, so we can get two batonets out of this. Okay, so if we take our batonet and we cut it in half, I'm sorry, potato cut it in half, and we just go like this, okay? Now we're getting quarter inch slices, right? Okay, quarter inch batonet. Okay, so that is batonet right there. Okay, so we have our batonet slices just like that. Okay, now we want to get what, small dice? Okay, we have a little bit that are a little bit uneven, so we're just going to line it up, we're going to even it out. Okay, and then we're going to make approximately quarter inch slices, quarter inch dice. Okay, and I would really recommend that you go through your book, okay, on this page and memorize, tonight, memorize what's botanate, okay, what's small dice, okay, memorize those two things you can memorize today. This is kind of overwhelming, all these, all these, man, what's this stuff, you know? What's that, what's that, white football, okay, you don't have to memorize all this tonight. Break it down like we talked about yesterday. Break it down so it's manageable. Memorize these two, memorize these two cuts today. Know them for the rest of your life. You're gonna need it. Okay? When you go out for your interview, you're gonna say, I know knife skills, okay? You know knife skills. I want to see you do a batonet. I want to see you do um, a julienne. Okay, I want to see you guys do a small dice. Okay. Okay, so once again. Okay, that's what we're looking for. We're looking for uniformity. Okay? You go out to eat, okay? You go out and you have a really nice cup of soup, and it's all cut evenly, it's all gonna cook evenly, and it's all gonna look uniform, and it's gonna look like a professional dinner. Okay? It's not gonna look like somebody had a knife and just went chop chop. Okay? So, once again, we're gonna cut this in half. Okay, approximately two and a half inches. Okay, we're gonna line it up. Okay, we're gonna keep it straight in front of us. We're going to hold our knife securely. We're going to do our claw, okay, so that, see how I'm keeping these fingers? I'm not, my fingers aren't like this. They're like this, okay? Very, very important. Keep your fingers tucked in, okay? I'm using about the first third of the knife. Then I'm going to line them up, okay? Then I'm going to do small dice, about a quarter inch. Okay. So, we're going to peel them, okay? Next thing we're going to do? Okay, we're going to block them. Okay, we're going to block them so they're nice and even, okay? So we got a nice, uh, flat product to work with, uniform product to work with. What's our next thing? Batonet. Okay, batonet. Okay, so we're going to cut slices down, okay? And then we're going to do batonet slices from that quarter inch. Okay, we're looking at quarter inch. So how big is a quarter inch? Okay, quarter inch is right to here. Okay, so if an inch is this long, it's going to be a quarter of that. So, once you get it done, put it on there. Does that match? Okay, does that match our batonet when you get it cut? Okay, this is a reference sheet. That's why we have it. Okay, like I said, I got more. 
guys need more, I'll, I'll get more maids.